guys welcome back I'm gonna do another um, cloudy sort of a pour so the last video I inclined my canvas and I poured that way the previous one I inclined and I poured this way and today I'm just going to pour into the center I'm not going to do a ring pour because when you do a ring pour with the cloud mix you get these kind of sausage looking things uh, so I don't want that I just want more of an organic kind of a look so just gonna pour in the middle and see what happens so I've got some blues got a little bit of a green got a bit of a pink you know how sometimes the sky gets that sort of a pinky greeny look to it don't know if the pink's gonna show up it might just all disappear but We'll see what happens. Uh, so, flow troll for pouring medium today. And the white is our cloud mix. So it's two parts artist loft white to one part milk paint. And then the white paint is mixed equal parts one to one with flow troll. The colors are one and a half parts flow troll to one part of the Montmartre paint. Uh, I've just basically mixed some colours myself. The navy is the phthalo blue with some black. That's just paint, plain phthalo blue. This one's cerulean. Um, cerulean? Yeah, cerulean blue. And that one is emerald green, although it doesn't look very emerald, does it? I think emerald is a much darker colour. Now, I'll pop that there. I'm just going to layer my paints. And we will get started so I'm hoping that it's thick enough leaves a little well quite a big mound I didn't want to have it too thin uh, and too watery all right let's see if I can get like five or maybe five layers I guess oops a blob went in there I don't know what's in my pink, but it's a bit blobby. A little bit more white. And back to the navy. And then I think I'll put some of this in and some more white. I'm just going to change it up a little bit just so that each layer is not exactly the same. Mm, yep. Bit of blue, bit of white, green, <clears throat> back to the navy. I found that if I put the white next to the navy, because it's got black in it, it can look quite dark, quite grey looking. So I'm just going to keep going here with my layers until... I'm done. Okay, I think that's probably all I can fit in there. Okay, a little bit left, but I don't think I'll, I'll need it. I can use the rest of the leftover paint to do my corners if I need it. Okay. Now, hopefully, this will work. <clears throat> I'm just going to do just a straight pour. I might turn my hand around a little bit like that so we don't get all of one colour on one side and then all of the other colour on the other side. But we'll just see what happens. And I want to get pretty close because I don't want it to blend too much. See how you're getting a little white on one side? Oops, I'm trying to turn my hand, but it's not that easy. I just find if you try and turn it, you don't get all of that one color on one side. But you don't have to. Let's let it 
flow out. That's my navy on the bottom, so I want to try and get that out. Because the colour that's in first comes out last. And it kind of sticks to the bottom of the cup, so you've got to try and try and get it all out if you can. I've still got quite a bit in the bottom there, but I can't get any more out than that. Look at that. Lots of little feathery looks. Okay, now I'm going to just put some white around here. I haven't got a lot of white left, but I'm just going to put out what I've got. And use my little tool. There's really not much at all, but I just want to spread it anyway. This is a 50 centimetre by, no it's not, I think it's a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas. Forty by fifty, I think it is. Hmm. Not sure what that is in in um, inches. I didn't work it out before I started. Sorry. Oops. Not much left, is there? Spread that out. There we go. Just a little covering. Okay. Uh, now let me torch. Pop some bubbles. Reminds me of this stage of, um, you know, those headdresses that people wear. Back in the olden days, they were, I think they were like reeds and feathers and things like that. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> okay, so we've got like a blue inlet there. That looks pretty. And we've got the white there. Um, I should do one where I just hold my cup in the middle and don't move hey see what difference we get all right let's go around in a big circle and see what's going to happen the sides, go off there, and that corner can do the corner and the sides. Don't really see the pink. Ooh, I like the green though. Look at the green, those little tips in there of the green. That's really pretty, isn't it? Let's go off to the, just need to take that back to the middle a little bit because I need to get that side. Oh, I don't want to lose the blue. I like that little blue strip there. Ooh, look at that. That is so pretty. Let's bring it back to the middle a little bit because I've got a lot of colour on the one side and not much on the other. I might take a little bit of that. Oh, I don't know if I want to go that far. I'm just going to take a bit of this white off, but I don't know if I can get all the way down there again. Let's try. Spreading out that navy a little bit. This looks a little bit more, a little bit more organic and not so, not so planned, I guess. Just having that bit of colour popping over the side there, other than a whole big bar of white. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at those clouds. Very cloudy. 
Okay. Well, you can't see the pink. Pink has gone. Love that navy. Almost looks black, doesn't it? It's a very, very dark blue. But I just felt that it needed that really dark colour against all the white. Um, I don't think I'm going to take any more off because that's pretty there. Like if I took that off, then I just have white. So that's pretty there. Got that lovely area of blue there. Loving this green, little bits of green popping through. Oh, there's a bit of pink. You can't really see it a lot. Just gives it a very, very slight little hint of pink. Not sure if I want to tilt it anymore or not. I'll just do my sides and then I can have a little think about what I want to do, if anything else. But it's a very organic sort of a, a painting. It's not a structured painting like some that I've done. It's very, very natural looking, very organic, which is what I was after. I've done lots of pores, you know, ring pores that are very, very structured and I keep them in their rings and their circles, and which is lovely, but I just wanted to do something just a little bit more natural looking. And I think it's got it. Oh, look, there's a big section there that's missed. What can I put there? Put it on top, let it run down its own and make its own little pattern. There we go. That looks natural, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, love that navy. Okay, let me torch. Um, no, no, I'm not going to torch. <clears throat> the problem with torching now is I can see lots of little bubbles. So if on the white, if I had to torch them now, they would all pop and I'd end up with these little black dots. So I personally think it's best to torch beforehand, before you tilt, but not afterwards. Um, yeah, because then they would all turn into little black dots, little, little pit holes. What do you think? Stormy, stormy, hey? Right, let me turn my light off. And I'll take it down for a close up. I'm glad I got that navy in the middle. <laughs> oh, it would be a little bit too blue if I didn't have that navy. But you can see how it's looking a bit sort of grey on that bottom right side there. It's got a, I'll, I'll show you, I'll get you down a bit closer so you can see it, but it's got like this white haze over the top. Like so. Oops, I'm in the light. Now, look at the green. And you can see slight, slight, ever so slight little hints of pink in there. I guess maybe I should have gone with a slightly bolder shade of pink. But I just didn't want it to overpower. I just wanted a hint of pink, but... <laughs> Maybe a little bit more of a hint. Look at that wispy, ghosty looking edges there where the white sort of wisps away into the navy. Getting a few cells popping up here and there. That's really pretty there, isn't it? Look at that color blending there. So pretty. I'm glad I put that little bit of green in. And there's the light blue. It's just giving little hints of sort of depth and shadowing to those puffy clouds there. Look at that. You'd think that was 3D, wouldn't you? It is flat. It's my husband doing something in the garden next door. So anyway, there it is. 
stand over this way to get rid of that light that's shining above. Hope you like it. I really, really like it. Love it. I'm glad I took that navy over the edge just there on the left rather than having a big white block on the left. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you can't get hold of milk paint, um, that guy there, don't be too concerned. Use um, satin enamels. You might just have to thin it down a little bit more because the milk paint is like milk. It's really, really quite thin. So you might just have to um, make your mix a little bit thinner. So the white was much thinner than the colours and that allows the white to, to do its thing, you know, to be fluffy and puffy and cotton wool-like and create that cloud effect, which is so, so pretty and soft and delicate. Okay. But have a go. It's it's fun. <laughs> There's no right or wrong when it comes to these pores. Just pour it out and cross your fingers, hope for the best. That's what I did. And I think it turned out really, really pretty. So enjoy. Have some fun with painting. And uh, I will see you real soon for the next pour. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.